Let's continue our discussion on string methods. This is part 8 of string methods. The first topic is index method. The second topic is R index method. And after discussing these two topics, we will see the homework problem of this presentation. Let's start with the first topic called index method. Index method returns the index of the first occurrence of the substring. So, index method works exactly the same as find method which we have seen in the last lecture. It also returns the index of the first occurrence of the substring. Now, the main question that arises is that what is the difference between index method and find method? They both work exactly the same but there must be some difference. The difference lies in the fact that if the substring is not found, then the index method raises an exception also called value error. So, if it is the case that the substring passed to it as an argument is not found, then it will raise an exception. This is the difference between index method and find method. Recall that find method returns minus 1 if the substring passed to it is not found within the string. Now let's see the syntax of index method. We first need to provide the string, then the dot operator, then the index method itself. And within parentheses, we can provide these three arguments. The first argument is mandatory. This represents the substring itself. The second argument is the start index from where the search should begin within the string. And n represents the ending index where the search should end within the string. These two arguments, just like find method, are optional. But sub, which represents the substring, is mandatory. Now as we have seen what is index method, let's see some examples to better understand how index method works. Let's type this command. Python is a beautiful language. Dot index. And then to the index method, provide this substring with just one letter e. If we hit enter, we will get 13 as a result. Why are we getting this result 13? The reason is pretty simple. Index method returns the index of the first occurrence of the substring passed to it as an argument. The substring passed to this index method is this letter E. So, it will look for the first occurrence of this letter E within this string and it will return the index of that first occurrence of the substring. This means that it will return the index 13 because the first occurrence of letter E is this only. The index of this character is 13. This is the second occurrence of letter E, but index method returns the index of the first occurrence of the substring only. Hence, this is the reason why we are getting 13 as a result. Now let's see the second example. Python is a beautiful language. Dot index and this time to the index method pass these three arguments. The first argument is the substring itself. The second argument is the start index from where the search should begin within the string. The start index is 1 which means that the search should begin from here, letter Y. And the end index is 5 which means that the search must end at this letter N. Because the index of this letter is 5. This means that we are asking index method to look for this character E within this string only. Y T H O N. As you might have guessed this already, that index method will generate an error because this letter is not found within this string. Hence, we will get this message value error substring not found. I hope this concept is completely clear. After understanding the working of index method, we need to move to the next method and understand how our index method works. First, we need to understand what is our index method. Our index method returns the index of the last occurrence of the substring. So, 
it works exactly the same as our find method which we have seen in the last presentation it also returns the index of the last occurrence of the substring and as you might have guessed this already the difference lies in the fact that if the substring is not found then it raises an exception also called the value error it will not return minus 1 like our find method now let's see the syntax we need to provide the string first then the dot operator then our index method itself and we can provide these three arguments these two arguments are completely optional while this argument is mandatory we already know what these three arguments are so let's not waste time and let's open the command prompt and let's type this command python is a beautiful language dot r index and this time to the r index pass this character e now if we hit enter we will get 29 as a result because r index always returns the index of the last occurrence of the substring the last occurrence of this substring is at this particular position the index of this character is 29 and this is the reason why we are getting 29 as a result now let's see one more example python is a beautiful language dot r index character e 1 and 5 this means that we need to find this character within this string y t h o n because the index that we need to start from is 1 which means we need to start from this letter y and the last index must be 5 which means we must end at this specific letter now as we can observe this character e is not available within the string hence we will get this error message value error substring not found i hope this concept is completely clear this means that we are done with these two topics we have understood what is index method and what is r index method now let's move on to the homework problem of this presentation what is the output of the following lines of code you need to determine the output of the following lines of code there are total four lines of code and before running all these lines of code on your python interactive shell i want you to spend some time and try to determine the output of these lines of code on your own first so we are done with all the topics this means that we are done with this presentation okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one